feel really good about where he is. He came in about, uh, I think, around noon or 12.30 today and was in really good spirits and, um, you know, had a, got a good night's sleep, you know, no loss of appetite. Um, I think all the signs are pointing, you know, that he, he really dodged a bullet there, obviously. And um, so we're encouraged where he is, but we'll take it day by day. And, um, you know, hopefully it's not something that'll be too long. Uh, Meredith, if you can unmute, you can ask questions. Hey, Aaron, just based on that information, do you think that there's a good chance he'll be available by the first week of the season? I hope so. Um, you know, but I, I don't want to speculate too much because, you know, anytime you go into the concussion protocol, um, and even though everything's looking positive right now, you still want to get through these days and make sure, you know, he's he's symptom free and and you know able to do everything from an athletic standpoint without generating any any symptoms or anything. So, um, you know, I, I I'm hopeful and feel feel good about where he's at, but need to see it unfold now for the next several days. Did everyone else come through the workout today? Okay. Yes, uh, yes. As far they're finishing up there, the second group's about finished right now. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a really good day of work. Um, you know, guys touch bases a little bit, a lot of um, pretty intense defensive work. Um, so I thought I thought it was a good day, and it seemed that everyone got a lot out of it. We can take our next question from Dan Martin. Hey, Aaron, uh, we saw Chapman and uh, and Gary here. Is that just a, a good feeling to see them in the fold? And, and are they up to speed with where, I mean, as much as they can be with everybody else? Yeah, yeah. Chappie actually threw a bullpen earlier today. Um, so he's, you know, he's on schedule. And, you know, I'm sure the, for those of you that follow him on Instagram, follow his bullpens uh, throughout quarantine and whatnot. Um, and he's always in such great shape. And Gary, Gary was able to get a lot of work while he was back in the DR. You know, both, both, you know, some catching work, uh, but also hitting regularly and 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 working out. So feel like they're both uh, in a, in a good spot entering camp again. Next question from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Good. Um, you got starting pitchers for tomorrow night? Um, do we have uh, Hap? And we'll probably go with Clark Schmidt. I, I, we, we've got about five or six innings, we think, full innings of pitchers going tomorrow. And, and I think that I haven't finalized the rotation yet with Matt, but I think that's how we're going to set it up. And what are you hoping to get out of tomorrow night, first in the squad games? Is it just knocking off Russ, getting back out there? Yeah, it's just continuing and, and really trying to create as many live hot reps, um, you know, with a, obviously a little shorter amount of time, um, obviously getting pitchers in game action, getting pitchers to, you know, build up their pitch counts, um, probably go a couple innings with Jay uh, and – and, and then get a lot of our relievers in there. Um, but, yeah, just getting live reps. Uh, we'll probably go easy as far as running and stuff and getting out of the box and things like that. But, um, you know, we're going to we're, – we're putting a premium on, on live reps as, as much as we can and feel like, for the most part, guys are ready to handle that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Brian Hoke. Brian, if you can unmute. Uh, what was your takeaway from watching James Paxton today? I assume that's the first time he's faced hitters in a while. Yeah, I thought he was really good. I mean, the results were good. Um, I thought he spun the ball really well uh, for being a first time out. Um, he looked good. I mean, he looked he looked fairly sharp. You know, I think it was, you know, clearly a stepping stone for him of, of getting back out there and getting in a little bit of competition against some hitters. So, um, you know. A, a good first step in in summer summer training uh, for Pax, but you know he's I feel like had a really good few months here where, um, you know, since having the surgery, um, you know the progression for him has gone I think about as well as everyone could have hoped, and 
he comes in here um, in a pretty good spot and ready to go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. James Wagner, next question. James, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. I uh, hope you're doing well. Sorry, if I could just go back to clarify something on Tanaka. And maybe this is semantics and I'm not a doctor, but uh, I know he had concussion like symptoms that, tip, that dissipated. You said, did he actually suffer a concussion or did, was that subsided? I think the diagnosis was a mild concussion. Um, so, um, but yeah, he's he really since. Uh, since he got to the hospital, pretty much he's been he's been symptom free and uh, and feeling good and regular appetite, regular night sleep, um, in good spirits, popping around today. So um, I think at this point we're really encouraged. Mm -hmm. Christy Ackert, if you can unmute. Sorry about that, Aaron. Um Last week, uh, Brian had said that you guys had reached out initially to do some maybe exhibition games. Is there any development on that, or are you just planning to do intra-squad throughout spring training? Yeah, we're hopeful. I don't think nothing – we haven't uh, – I don't think agreed or announced anything official yet, but we do expect to, to play a few games, um, you know, hopefully before the opener. Yep. Bob Clappish. You can unmute and ask a question. Hey, Aaron. Um, one quick question. Just wondering about the logistics for you personally. How many hours a day um, are you at the ballpark? Like, what time do you get here? What time do you think you'll leave? Yeah. Um, I got here, I think, a little bit, maybe like 1045 today, maybe. Um, and, you know, when I'm finished with with you guys, I can get out of here. No, um, and I'll, I'll probably be out of here in the next hour, I would assume. Um, obviously, tomorrow with us going with an air squad game starting at seven, it's going to be even a longer day. Uh, where you know we'll probably get out, you know, nine, nine thirty, ten o'clock. So, um, I guess th th that's kind of the hours right now. Fortunately, I like being at the yard. Uh, Eric Boland. You can unmute and ask a question. Hey, Aaron, uh, just out of curiosity, looking big picture, what, what have your thoughts been the last few days when you've seen uh, sort of the slow trickle of players and some of them big names who have opted out of the season? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a reality. Um, you know, that we'll probably have to deal with it in major leagues. Um, you know, that's, it's a very personal decision for people. And, um, you know, I know we'll, we'll certainly be respectful of that. Again, I don't necessarily expect anyone for us that to happen, but if, if a situation does occur where somebody feels like they need to, um, you know, we'll be supportive of that as an organization. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll take a last question from Marley Rivera. Marley. Thanks for joining us. Um, I just wanted to know, you obviously just said that um, you don't have finalized pictures for tomorrow. I'm just wondering if you are thinking of using Cole for the interest squad game on Tuesday. Oh, no. On, on Tuesday? Tuesday. I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cole, Cole is scheduled to go on Tuesday, yes, in the inter squad. Yeah, we have our pitchers for tomorrow. I just I haven't exactly got the order yet of how we're how we're going to roll them out, but I think we've got about 5 or 6 innings that we think we'll cover.